My name is Enoch. I'm a Nigerian-born, London-based music producer, content creator, and an architect. The first time I fell in love with being creative was when I saw my mum's reaction to me banging on the pots and pans. And rather than her telling me off, she actually encouraged me. I get a lot of DMs and a lot of comments about what kit and what gear I use. My first camera was the XS10. I started using Fujifilm because I was looking for a solution to make my videos and my content something that I would want people to see. I love the fact that the Fujifilm XS20 feels like an extension of myself. It is one of those things that I don't really want to put down, mainly because of how quick it is for me to switch between video and stills. A multi hyphenate is someone who doesn't like being put in a box and loves to express themselves using different mediums. Architecture and music have simultaneously been in my life from a very young age. They do have similarities between both of them, like rhythm, scale, proportion, harmony. Music is kind of seen as liquid architecture and architecture is kind of seen as solid music. My online following started from the lockdown era. I thought that was a good way to have a visual diary to document all that process and people just loved it and it became a thing. Most of the content that I share on social media involves me making music, visiting hotels and seeing how the interior spaces inform the users. Also how I express myself in London or in different cities walking around shooting street photography or street videography and how that informs my architectural projects as well. It still blows my mind to know that there are that many people interested in my craft and what I do. In an architectural environment, I'm looking for the emotion. I'm looking for the components that make up the entire space and what gives people that emotional connection. In terms of music, I'm a synth guy. I like things analog and Fujifilm gives me that feeling. I've got piano fingers, so when I held the XS20, the grip just felt a lot better. I also am a fan of the upgraded scene recognition, which means that when I'm out shooting on the street, it recognises the environment that I'm in. At the same time, I am a huge, huge fan of the 6.2K recording, mainly because the devil is in the detail. The autofocus has been upgraded as well, which means my images and my videos are sharp and the fact that I could also shoot double the amount of photos that I could before because of the upgraded battery, it's just a winner. With the in-body image stabilization, I can just take the camera itself and run around town and know fully well that because of the IBIS, I can drop my shutter speed to a lot more slower rates than I would and come out with creative images and creative concepts that are brewing in my mind. I think most people from my community would love to see a breakdown of the thought process behind most of my music. The only problem is I've always been fussy about the way things look and the way things feel. I want people to experience everything that I do in a certain way, in a certain feeling. I'd say for live streaming, the most important thing for me is being able to transfer the recipes and maintain that look that solidifies whatever it is that I'm creating for my audience. And the XS20 helps me create because of the speed at which I can set it up. Yeah, I like that. Definitely need to record that. Two, three, and... Going live gives the audience an insight into my thought process and what goes on behind the scene. Showing them pieces of content that I wouldn't have been able to show them before, thanks to the new Fujifilm XS20, I'm able to show them a true, authentic version of Nox. Yeah, tell me what you think about this. I would sum it up as a perfect camera for those who are looking to buy into Fujifilm and for enthusiasts who want to take their content creation to another level.